So, I think this is... No, no, maybe. We're just about there. But, final-ish category. Because the other final, final, final category is very reusable. But these ones aren't quite reusable. Well, these ones definitely aren't. And... That one definitely isn't, but these ones are somewhat more rugged and waterproof, but we'll talk about them later. So, po like, pocket memos, like, I've all, I think I've already talked about field notes a little bit. Kind of, like, written the grid on them, done our different things, like, gone over the information that's in both covers, and things like that. So, field notes, I think, is well-worn, and... A lot of other people have covered field notes on top of it. So the nextest thing, so, and I've done the composition notebooks, kind of very, memos very thoroughly. So I think I can skip that. Have I talked about these ones a little bit? I think so. So like standard memo pad yeah lined and everything nothing much to say about them really these ones still lasted but i haven't had them in my pockets all the time so consequently i have taken these one of these to school once or twice to write quick notes down on disposable notes ha 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 let's move the camera around and so yeah I mean, they're nice because they flip over like that. So, I mean, pretty easy to have a good writing surface to write on with. Let's make sure, you know. Ta, ink dot. But yeah, pretty solid for the most part if it's thick enough and you don't tear too many pages out. But the interesting ones are these ones. So what i had to go to a couple different stores to find these so these two were at my local ish surplus store because i go there a lot a little too much right in the rain i had to go to sportsman's warehouse for oh and then yeah so this brand is at the surplus store in so is this one but yeah this is the five star gear and then this is like some weird british one so what's really interesting is this is probably the most useless ish one because the covers are just clear and you can write information about it on here but it's still a weatherproof notebook and what's really cool about it if it'll focus, or you can vaguely see it from there, is that it's got those lines on it to show, to give you a grid to work with, to keep things lined up. So you can see the dotted lines here. You can either write this way or either way because of those dotted lines. So it makes it easier to keep track of that. I'm not going to use the reusable on it. Hello? So if I take the pencil, I can do a pencil test write. And I can keep it on a line because I've got the lines right there to help me if it'll focus in. So I could even do a proper to-do list. And then I can have check boxes to work with too. So all in all, like having the grid lines is very nice. And I like that about this one. Although this one's nicer because it includes the ruler. So if I open it up spread eagle, you can see I've got a full, if I can keep it straight during the time I'm measuring, a full like... 10, 20 centimeter ruler 
if I combine the two. And then we've got a ruler. Yeah, okay, 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 we can measure that, yeah. We've got a, what, eight and a half-ish inch ruler on the other one. So it kind of keeps it straight on each side, but you've got both sides, so it doesn't matter which orientation you pull it out in. It'll, you can use it as a ruler. And it's got different information in here. So my biggest gripe with this one is the fact that the color isn't very conducive to reading well with it. So it gives you some, oh, what? It was nine liner, oh, medical information to pass on to like emergency services information that you could write down in here. So like line one, line two, info, and it you'd be able to keep track of it in there. It is, so the pages here aren't as slick as like this one's over here, where they're slightly different textured, but they are just lined as well. They don't have the nice dot grid to keep track of everything, but it did come with a pencil. So, and it's pre-sharpened too, so if you need something with pencil and a pencil holder, this is a pretty good choice. It's a very, very plain pencil, but it's a pencil nonetheless. And again, you've got your same information here in badly printed red. They could have gone with the white, I guess, and it would have been easier to see. See like here, right anywhere, right anytime, right any place. They could have used that instead of like this dumb red color, but that's neither here nor there. Now, here's the standard, right in the rain. Right in the Rain has their own special oh, pens that you can use with it, but they do recommend pencils. So pencils might become a part of my kit. It hasn't been a standard part of my kit, but yeah. So you've got your ruler on the side here, just like this one, the BCB, and the ruler on the other side, just like the BCB. And then it gives you a little bit more information on top of it. If we open up the covers open up the covers you can see we've got our oh, land nav rulers for like mapping and then all our different conversions as well on top of it so let's see yeah you've got different volumes lengths and so on and scales so here are your scales for your map stuff that you're measuring here and then the back cover is kind of where we get our other information on what we're writing with and the different, like, other, even other products. And so what's cool is equipping multiple industries worldwide. Da, 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 social media and this, that, and the other. Um, no, there isn't too much information on it. So yeah, use wet or dry. So it tells you what to use and what definitely not to use, like gel pens, most highlighters, fountain pens, watercolors, and acrylic paint. So fountain pens wouldn't work too well because most fountain pen ink is water-based, particularly fountain pens for like this one or possibly this one. But yeah, crayons work. So get you a pack of oh, marine rations and you will work perfectly with it. Your pastels and paints, as long as it's not watercolors, and then right in the rain pens, all pencils is of note there. So having a pencil to pair with your right in the rain pad is very, very good. And pencils come pretty cheap too. You can find like a whole pack of mechanical pencils alone everywhere. So what's really cool about this is much like the five star gear is you can see that it's got a slight grid with it. So I can go and do the to do thing and do my checkbox in there or I could even outline the box and keep it like that and do it to do and I have lines to follow to line things up so I'm not like slowly moving away from the side of the page so that's really cool about it and if I really wanted to I could go like this too if I had longer information to keep track of. But standard right in the rain stuff. Again, it follows the same pattern. Well, right in the rain probably did it first. 
but follows the same pattern. So what I also picked up is kind of larger notebooks that you can fit into larger, oh, covers, I guess. <coughs> so again, this one came with its own pencil like the other one did. And I think, yeah, I can pull that off pretty well. Same, same store, surplus store. There's my tags. Popping tags, but yeah. This one uses black ink instead of the red ink, and you can see it quite a bit better. It's got all the conversion stuff and a ruler, consequently. Let's see, does the back have the ruler? Uh, yeah, it does. It's got an inches ruler. Notebook belongs to... Come on, focus. We've got our nine-liner information again. And then our mystery port one down here. Yeah, see. Crayons and so on. Then our inside cover has... Can't quite read it. Come on, buddy. Focus. Oh, it looks like country code stuff. Yeah, country code, time difference, time zoning. So yeah, time zoning, country code stuff. Again, standard lines, so... Anyway, you can write important messages in here, and it'll stay waterproof. It looks like our pencil got into it, or the O-ring got into it right there, but yeah. It does have this nice strap, though. I can't, I, I have to give them a point for that. Right in the rain, our de facto standard. Again, we've got the nice grid, and the nice bluish color makes it easier to not just do stuff. And it's got a square grid square scale if you really feel like it, if you're drawing stuff in here. So what's cool is they've got the contents section here and another ruler again. So if we go to the back, we don't have a ruler. But if we go to the inside of the back, we do have a ruler. And the map scales and the conversions and the different writing stuff. And a little bit more information on the history and... Kind of like the different things it resists. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, we can line things up and keep our messages concise. And inside of grid lines. I need to add an addendum. There were two I forgot. So this one was a memo pad that I had on my mission. It's got a hole in it, but I covered up the hole with tape, but I did do some other things to it. So you've got different options for how you do stuff to the memo pads. So this one I had to pull the coil out and then recoil it. And then this one was gifted to me while on my mission. And sometimes you find memo pads like this and it's kind of cool because this one has terrible pages in it. But it's very plain paper, so you can do like all kinds of things with it, whether it be notes or even using the sheets that you tear out for drawing up maps for different RPGs, tabletop wise. So, and that may that's a subject for later that I have to like mess with stuff on. But memo pads, kind of small, tiny, and things like that. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.